hello from Brisbane and this is one epic far review. We're going international today. We're flying to Christchurch with Qantas. I've just flown in from Sydney with them in economy class. So we're just here now at the international transfer. So we're going to take a bus over to the international terminal. Then we are flying overseas with Qantas. I'm really excited. Come join me for this trip report. We're going to be in economy class, but I'm still very excited. Let's go. Brisbane Airport offers a free bus which connects you between the international and domestic terminals for all passengers. The bus departs between every 5 to 10 minutes and is the best way to travel to between the two terminals, as they are about a kilometre away from each other. There is only one international departure terminal at Brisbane, hence it serves all airlines. The Qantas check-in is located on the right hand side. Passengers with status and business class passengers are invited to use the business class check-in lane, which is located on the right hand side. Otherwise, there is the economy class lane for any other passengers. There was no queues when I was there. Check-in is located on level 4, and you'll need to take an escalator down to level 3 to complete immigration and security. With immigration done, that can technically only mean one thing. I have now left Australia for the first time in four years. My flight today departs from gate 82, and here is the aircraft that will fly me across the Tasman today, VHXZB. This plane actually flew me from Adelaide to Sydney back in 2016. The aircraft is used on the Tasman legs because it has IFE and a few more features that the other 737s don't. Hello, thank you for that. Thank you. Aiden, thank you. Thank you. Good to go. Get a message to put you in. Oh, Welcome aboard an international flight. Business class is in a 2-2 while economy is laid out in a 3-3 configuration. And here's my seat today, 4A. Legroom is really good, I really love this extra legroom seat. There is meant to be a little screen down there, it can come out, I just really don't know how to. In the seat pocket there is a safety card and a magazine. The headrest can be adjusted like so, six ways actually. In between the seat there is a little radio control button and there is also an armrest. It can be folded into either a half position or a full position. That is the half position and that is the full. Take up and landing. Also, it's a government requirement for all the crew and passengers to wear a face mask, which cover your mouth and nose. Once again, welcome to Qantas Flight, and it's a pleasure to have you with us today. Patient and Australian spirit. This is an Avro 504 biplane, made from timber and canvas. You're flying in the car. Right here on Sydney Harbour, our life jackets look like this. Yours are a little more. Put it over your head. Pass the strap around your waist, clip at the front, then tighten. There's a Have a great block. As we are now on our way from Brisbane, let's have a look at the IFE screen. It has many good movies, new and old, however I do not find it to be as good as Air New Zealand, which I flew back across the ditch a few days later. Let's have a look at the flight map. The flight map isn't the newest of course, but it still does the job, and it isn't interactive sadly. 
Not long after we left Brisbane, the cabin manager came round and offered all the passengers an arrival card into New Zealand. I don't really use the in-flight entertainment system, although for this video's sake I decided to click into a movie to show you how it all operates. The movie playback was really good, actually, I am very pleased with the results. If I was a movie person I would have definitely been fine with this in-flight entertainment system. The cabin crew shortly made an announcement about the meals, so I knew it was time to get my tray table out. Today for my meal I selected the sausages. My seat neighbour got the chicken salad, hence I was able to film it. The salad looked really healthy and juicy. The chicken looked nice, and the veggies all looked fresh. Although the portion of this salad is a concern for my international flight. Now for my meal, I went with the pork sausages with mashed potatoes and peas. I got it with a side of ginger beer and sparkling water. Let's talk about my meal. There was two medium sized pork sausages. They were juicy and flavorful. I found the processed meat to be perfectly acceptable for an international economy class flight. And if the sausages were frozen, I wouldn't be able to tell. They were that flavorful, you wouldn't know. I found that the onion gravy complemented the sausage as well and supported it well. Now for the mash. I found the mash to be a bit runny, which most commonly means that it could have been fake mashed potatoes or just very watered down mashed potato. Nevertheless, I still enjoyed the meal on a whole. The ginger beer tasted really good. Don't worry, it isn't real beer. Overall, I really enjoyed my meal and sorry for not eating my veggies. I don't really like peas. Welcome to Qantas Boeing 737 Laboratory Tour. It's a bit cramped and a bit messy. Nevertheless, I really liked how many mirrors they had in here. There is also a baby change table. Unfortunately, I didn't have a baby to change. After I returned from the toilet, I found that the lights had been dimmed so that some passengers would be able to sleep during this time. There was also a video played about the arrival into New Zealand and not bringing the quarantine goods in. They make New Zealand look really good in this video. I wish I was spending more time there. Before we begin our descent into New Zealand, the cabin crew came around and offered a linked chocolate to all of the passengers. I found it tasted really good. So as we begin to approach Christchurch, allow me to summarise this international flight today. I love this flight so much, I can't describe how good it is to be fly flying international again. It is a feeling I missed and loved so much, although being on a 737 I still loved it. As I was connecting in Sydney and Brisbane, I didn't need to worry about checking in in Brisbane, I checked in in Adelaide. It was a rather long check-in experience I found. I waited for about 30 minutes, but that's because I was in the international connections line. Immigration at Brizzy was an absolute breeze, there was basically no lines, although my face has changed quite a bit since my passport photo, so I had to go through manually. Airside at Brisbane, it was kind of dead, I wish I could attain some status and would be able to use one of the lounges. It would make for a far more enjoyable experience, nevertheless I still enjoyed exploring the airport. On board the flight I received a friendly welcome back and was, and was directed to my seat today, 4A. I found the seat to be comfortable and it was a good seat for this flight to Christchurch. The meal was very tasty, I enjoyed it a lot, bangers and mash is one of my favourite things to eat and to eat it in my favourite place was even better. Overall I loved the flight today, it was so good and it was so good to be able to travel internationally again. This flight really showed me just how much I've missed travelling internationally. Thank you so much for watching this video of mine, it means so much to have you following along and I really hope that you're excited for more videos from this trip, trust me they're going to be amazing. Anyway, if you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button as it motivates me to continue making videos just like this one. With all that out of the way, enjoy this landing into Christchurch and I'll see you all next Friday, 4pm Adelaide time, for a flight on board in New Zealand. Thank you and I'll see you then.
Christchurch, where the local time was 11.35pm on Saturday, 23rd of July. Please remain seated and seat belts fastened until the group outside is switched off. As always, smoking, safety, and the use of e-cigarettes are permitted while disembarking or throughout the terminal. Please take care when opening the opening lockers as banks may have moved to the port for now. Thanks, and of course for the returning, welcome home. Welcome to New Zealand. That is the smell of a new country. It's my first time in New Zealand. I've transited here once, but never actually left the airport. So we're here now. Um, great flight with Qantas. Really enjoyed it. Big day flying. Anyway, we're staying at that hotel over there, the Novotel at Christchurch Airport. And we're gonna be spending my day tomorrow um, going out and shooting the Sophia that's parked up here, and then we're flying to Auckland. So if you don't wanna miss those videos, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss them. Anyway, apart from that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Thank you.